at the very least, I think it'll be really hilarious when he finally does die. If we, like, try our utmost to keep him alive. Does One thing that I little... like a lot better about Skyrim is how easier to manage, like, the menus and everything is. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> like, coming from a guy who, like, jumped on the Bethesda train a little bit, like, late... Yeah. I didn't play as much uh, Oblivion as I probably should have. Yeah. And it's always just so off putting every time I play Oblivion. I still love it. I can. Yeah. yeah. I still love it. Uh, like, there's a. a big difference between playing Skyrim and playing Morrowind, but it's not that jarring to go from Skyrim to Oblivion, just like it's not that jarring to go from Oblivion to Morrowind, mm-hmm. but. The Morrowind's dip- always jarring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking walk of The walks them. where they're like, their middle joints don't bend, it's just at like the shoulders and the hips. <laughs> <laughs> they do like the C-3PO thing. I guess I could help these schmucks. Oh, they're gonna win either way. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All I'm gonna do is end up hitting them. <laughs> right? Watch, like, Dan figures out a secret way to play this game where, like, you join the mythic Where guy. Uriel Septim, like, lives, and you, like, fight at his side. Well, we only recorded a few lines. <laughs> so that's... That's Picard? Yeah, that's Patrick yep. Stewart. I never knew that. And, uh, the son is, uh, fucking Ned Stark. Yeah. Never knew that either. Mm-hmm. I don't want to spoil too much, but does Ned Stark die in this game? Spoiler alert. Yes. <laughs> okay. End of spoiler alert. I mean, I honestly doubt anybody's clicking into a Let's Play of, like, Oblivion without ever playing Oblivion. <laughs> right. Especially after, what, like, eight years after it came out? Well, also, if you played years. Skyrim, there is plenty of evidence in, like, the literature in the game that, like, talks about that. Maybe not plenty, but it's there. Especially the, the Mythic Dawn questline in Skyrim. W- one of the things I really like about Skyrim is when they talk about the hero from Oblivion, he is still just like a nameless guy. Yeah. That's like, they just... Like, he gets a footnote. In, that's how a uh, kind of album were. Yeah. I, I wonder if that's going to be the case in the next game after Skyrim because they make such a big deal out of the Dragonborn, though. There was a Dragonborn, and then there was those other people that helped out the Dragonborn. We were going to focus on them in this well, history lesson. Don't they talk about how the last true Dragonborn between before the Skyrim Dragonborn was uh, Talos himself or whatever? Uh, well, Mar- all, it was or Mar- assumed that uh, Martin the, Septim the, was. the emperors were Dragonborn. That's oh, yeah. Like uh, when he says, come closer so I don't have to shout at you. Uh. He's going to do the dragon chest. Uh. They didn't plan that ahead. That's just a... You you know, like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they bitch. did plan it ahead, because, like, the things that they plan ahead in this series is yeah. insane. Like, you can go all the way back to Morrowind and find, like, tales of how, like, the dragons are going to, like, attack in Skyrim. Yeah. One of my uh, favorite side quests in Oblivion is uh, going to fight Mana Marco, yeah. who uh, was the... Uh, ne- necromancer who killed Galerian the Mystic, the original archmage of uh, the uh, mages guilds in uh, I heard... Cyrodiil. Well, I like the mages guild better than the College of Winterhold. Yeah, I think mages guild is kind of a weak name, and I like the name College of Winterhold better. Mm. I'm just gonna go ahead and drink a potion. I was gonna here. say, do you have any potions? Because you're. A- no, I heard, and I don't know for a fact because I haven't played it, but ESO, uh, Elder Scrolls Online, has yeah. Mana Marco in it. That's really cool. Because it's in that time period. If I ever get a better PC, I might play, uh... Yeah. Or a PS4 slash Xbox One. Um, I think that's on those systems, right? I think so. Like, in this game, once you get all your letters of recommendation and you go into the, uh... Mage's College in uh, the Imperial City. There's that cool book that's locked in one of the display cases, and it tells the story of Mana Marco and Galerian, and it's all written in rhyme. And uh, it's probably my favorite book that you can read in any like Bethesda game. Is um is Skyrim not Skyrim uh, Elder Scrolls Online? Is that like a prequel to the series? Yes, or? it takes place in the Second Era before Talos. Okay. Okay. Uh, during the Interregnum, 
or interregnum or whatever, however it's pronounced. Um, the like after the potentate, he uh, the Akviri potentate, they take over after once his face gets assassinated, uh, and like all these factions go to war over the Imperial city. And, uh, yeah, that's what Elder Scrolls Online. And also, they inserted a storyline about Molag Ball. Hmm. Uh, I forget which Daedric Prince he is, but he's a bad guy. Yeah, he's one of the bad ones. He's, he's the, the, uh, he's the one who gives him the maze. Of, er, of, uh, of domination. Okay, yeah. yeah. Is that the one that is in fucking uh, Malakath? No, no. Uh, Mal- Malakath's a fucking Daedric Prince. In Markarth? Prince. Markarth, thank yes. you. He traps yeah. you in a little okay, cage. Yeah. yeah, and makes you use that maze to kill that. Oh, well, he doesn't make you, but... He, he makes, makes you well. kill the other guy. You Does he make to. you? <laughs> like, if you want to get out of that room, you have to kill the other guy. No. Um, no? That's not how it is. Um, uh, on that note, what's everyone's favorite uh, Daedric Prince? Get out of here, bitch! Uh, I can't move! He froze huh? me! Herseem, probably. Yeah. Herseem is the uh, werewolf. werewolf yeah, yeah. I'm a huge fan of werewolves Me and too. lore, so I'm probably going to have to go with her same. What about you, Dan? Um, you know, I'm not sure. It'd probably be her scene, but uh, maybe like Boethia. Yeah. Okay. Azura's not bad. Yeah, Azura's pretty cool. I was always a fan of Clavicus Vile. Mm, the one with the doggy. <laughs> with the doggy. <laughs> Clavicus, like, he's just funny. Like, yeah. Um, he, uh, Sanguine's pretty great. Mm-hmm. What's the one that starts with a P? Uh, the, uh, the dragon. Yeah, yeah, he's the one of plagues and pestilence yeah. and stuff, yeah. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go to custom class. Cause I like Malakath a little bit. Yeah. Is that the one who was in the charge orc. of the, uh... No. no, 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 who's, uh... Isn't Malakath, like, not a true Daedra Prince? Uh, Maybe. I remember somebody was telling me about that. I I could be completely wrong. Like, I'm not as up with like Elder Scrolls lore as I, I know that he's like the patron saint of the orcs. Now, uh, I always wish there was more information available on him, but uh, I always liked uh, Mayrun's Dagon. Yeah, who is the primary antagonist of Oblivion here? But mm. uh, you like throughout. All of the games, you don't get that much information on Mayrun's Dagon, mm. other than like his he has obvious a, he has a cool desire name. to uh, conquer like the mortal plane. Mm. But uh, what a like frightening uh, supernatural being! Because all the other ones are like content to rule their planes of a uh, of oblivion and like just toy with mortals. But he like wants to own the mortals, you yeah. know, through conquest. Do we want to do one handed or two handed? I've always been a fan of sword and shield fighters. Alright. Be a knightly orc. It looks like Casey is surprisingly supporting my point. Yeah. I mean, well, uh, or a two-handed weapon-wielding orc. We've all been there. Be like a chivalrous orc. Prisoner of the orc. (laughs) Enter name for the class. Yeah, we're being that guy. <laughs> the fucking, like, picture they give you. <laughs> hello, hello, I'm that guy. <laughs> Are you I'm sure you that want to guy. Be that guy. I'd like to pledge my service <laughs> to you, my liege. That guy that is very brave of you. <laughs> Where did that guy go? You that guy went to go kill that <laughs> dragon. Yeah. yeah blah, 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 blah. I don't care about you. Woo! Um, what's the Daedric Prince that, uh, serves, like, the function of being the Night Mother? Uh, oh, uh... Nocturnal. Nocturnal. Yes, I always thought that she I'm was a fan, pretty cool. Like, on a whole, I'm a fan of the Daedric Princes over, like, the fucking Divines. Yeah. Although I have to admit that Knights of the Nine was a really cool DLC if you guys ever played it all the way through. Because it's... I like it because, uh, at the end it essentially confirms that the Divines are real. 
Whereas throughout like actual like the gameplay and the the main games, you really don't see that much presence well, like, from the divine. Just... So it's always like the Daedric princes always have like a much stronger presence. So it kind of raised the doubt: are the divines even real? Spoiler alert! Doesn't this game like end with fucking one of the divines just fighting Mayrune's Dagon? Well, sort of. Mm, sort of it's yeah. not Mar- really. It's Martin takes on the form of Akatosh and and it's. Sort of up to interpretation whether he actually took on the form of Akatosh, whether it was his dragonborn blood taking over and it was just him and that was the form he chose to take, or whether Akatosh herself stepped in. It's okay. Spoiler alert: over. You should like <laughs> make like notices so people know to turn their sound back on. I don't think that anybody watching this care. This game is old enough that we don't really have Be to classy. do spoiler alerts. Do it. I'm just going to start shouting spoilers throughout without saying any alert, so uh, don't do Bruce that. Bruce Willis was a ghost the whole time! 